All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com. And then go ahead, hit that like button, and you can subscribe as well. When you hit that like button and leave a comment, it just helps others uh, find this content. The YouTube algorithm will place this content in front of other people so you can help them get the help that you are about to receive. So uh, you can also follow me on Twitter at Anthony Smoke. So today we are back in Tableau and this is a little dashboard that I put together for the uh, real world fake data initiative run by uh, Mark Bradburn at uh, at Tableau really enjoyed uh, this initiative and I have some other videos where I use this uh, this uh, dashboard so after you watch this video I want you to go back and review uh, my first video that involves uh, creating a, uh, a reset all filters button in Tableau and then I have another video that shows you how to uh, basically fix any problems um, that may arise with the reset filters button in Tableau. I consider this video the third in the filter series. So go back and watch both of those videos after uh, this one. So let me explain to you why I wanted to put this uh, video together. As you can see here, I brought this up. Um, we had uh, uh, Guyan, if I'm saying that uh, correctly, reach out and say, I've created the reset button. It works fine. It resets all value, but the highlighted portion I use to filter remains highlighted and others grayed out how to fix this. So again, I responded, you've given me an idea for my next video. It involves adding a highlight action to your chart. So that's what we're going to learn here today. How to use a simple calculated field and a simple dashboard action to stop the annoying highlight action. When you select a dimension member on your chart, the aim is to create a better user experience for your dashboard. So let me show you here uh, on this dashboard. Again, I put this dashboard together, inspired by uh, Keith Dykstra. Um, follow him uh, on Twitter. Um, I really liked kind of the aesthetic of one of his dashboards. So I, I used data from real world uh, fake data initiative and, and try to capture some of that aesthetic. But anyway, so let's say that I filter uh, on this date. Let's go uh, this Thursday here. You can see that um, uh, my orders generated, uh, my buy hours, the number of orders are, are filtered as well. And you can see this tooltip matches 22158 matches the 22158. I can further select, let's go with uh, Atlanta here. And you know, it'll continue filtering down the, the number of, uh, of orders here. And I can hit the reset filters button and all of that goes away. But you'll notice here, see how this is still highlighted a little bit and I have to uh, click uh, off of that. So it's not as pronounced here, right? So let me go in here, let me go into my chart and we're gonna say, let me use this kind of use as filter, all right? So I didn't have that on here before. So now let's just pick a, um, Let's pick Clearwater. Uh, love Clearwater. Used to go down there um, uh, back when I was in school and, um, you know, for spring break. So good times. Anyway, Clearwater, right? Um, you'll notice here what has happened is that um, all of my other dimension members uh, are grayed out for the most part. And only this one is highlighted. And maybe that's fine if you don't have a filter action on the chart. So let me reset uh, the filters here. You'll see the filter goes away, but this remains highlighted. So that's the annoying uh, highlighting that uh, Guyan uh, asked, how do we fix? So this is what I'm gonna show you uh, how, how to fix here in a second. Okay, so we are going to go into uh, the dashboard here. Let's go to sheet. And the first thing that I want to do, we're going to create a calculated field and I'm going to call it stop highlight, something like that. And let's give it a value of true, right? Easy enough to understand. Stop highlights, true. I'm going to say, okay. And it's going to give us our little Boolean value here. So let's take that and put that on the detail of the chart where we want to stop the highlights. Okay. 
So let's go back to our dashboard. All right, we've got that on the detail in here. So now we want to set up a dashboard action, a highlight dashboard action. So let's go up here to dashboard actions and I'm going to add an action, uh, add a highlight action. And so, you know, uh, bar chart cities is the name of my bar chart. So you're, I'm going to unselect uh, everything else as a source sheet. You only want to leave selected your um, your uh, your chart where you want to perform the highlight action. And then you're going to do the same thing on the target sheet. So you see, I'm going to leave just bar chart cities selected in the source and target areas. We're going to leave it on select. And so for target highlighting, let's go selected fields. And that's my stop highlights Boolean value calculated field that I just created. So let's say, okay, say, okay here. So let's test this out. All right. Let's take a look at this thing here and let's select, let's go back. I'm in Atlanta, right? Let's go with the uh, ATL here and you'll see, see how it filters and nothing else. I selected Atlanta, nothing else was highlighted. Now I'm going to select some other values here, right? Columbia, St. Petersburg, Naples, West Palm Beach. You see how, um, nothing is grayed out here for the most part. I mean, I'm doing some, some aesthetics here that, that gradually grays out, but, uh, you know, you, you can see that, that nothing has, has changed here. And so let's say I'm in Orlando and I want to reset all the filters when I hit reset filters, right? Um, nothing changes here. Nothing remains grayed out. So that's really how you stop, uh, this, uh, this highlighting, uh, process. You're going to create a, uh, a calculated field, right? I create a Boolean. You could also use a, a one or zero placeholder value, but just make sure to convert that to a dimension if you want to do that. So I just use a true value, place that on the detail, create the uh, highlight action as I've shown you, and we've solved the problem. So hopefully this has um, enlightened you with respect to how to solve uh, this problem. If you learned something, go ahead, hit that like button, leave a comment. And as always, this is Anthony Smoke. Get out there, do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching, everyone.